the struggles to cope with a teenager's suicide. As people there learn, more young adults face the same struggle. Tonight, parents in Plattsmouth look for solutions, trying to save lives. KATV News Watch 7's Jeremy Maskell has this new story at 10. The entire Plattsmouth family is hurting. Struggling to find purpose in pain over 14 year old Aaron Moorhead's death, dozens of people partnered in Plattsmouth Thursday, hoping to prevent more suicides. Seems like every time we lose youth, we are we're facing the risk of losing ever more. In fact, people in town say five or more teens have tried to take their own lives since learning of Aaron's death in August. It's a small town, so when something happens like this, a lot of people are affected. Plattsmouth High School brought in Joyce Hicks Wednesday to teach ways you can help a hurting friend. I think the biggest sign would be withdrawing. So if there was something that they once loved to do, but all of a sudden now they just want to withdraw and not do anything. This meeting Thursday identified challenges, bullying a big one. We don't stand up for them. I think sometimes parental denial is a big issue. The group also identified goals like a youth center and a crisis center in town, open to anyone in good health or great need. Aaron's parents are hopeful. I hope that you don't sit there and see kids getting in trouble. You see them focusing on a spot where they can go. They need some place to go. And organizers of Thursday's forum say they already know they want to have a meeting in the future to follow up on all this. Aaron Moorhead's parents say they hope representatives from the school district here show up to that meeting. In Plattsmouth, Jeremy Maskell, KETV, Newswatch 7. If you know of someone struggling with thoughts of suicide, there is a national hotline ready to help 24 7, 1 800. 273-8255.